Hi, my name's Father Mark Sainer. I'm the provincial for the Franciscans from the St. John the Baptist province. By now, no one needs to tell you about the impact of this pandemic that we're experiencing with the coronavirus. There are many inconveniences, but there may also be a lot of fear and anxiety and confusion. Social distancing and the rate of change make all of our daily lives more difficult. I'd like you to know that the Franciscans care about each one of you. Your daily prayer requests through franciscan.org or franciscanmedia.org or the saintanthony.org are reaching us. We're reading them. We're praying for each of you and with each of you. Sometimes we need to go back to our faith though to get perspective. And I'd like to share this with you. Our faith, I think, teaches us what to do with our feelings, our fear, our inconveniences, our reduced options for social connection. My brother Richard Rohr recaps a dictum from psychology when he restates, any pain that is not transformed is always transmitted. So this fear and loneliness could be a worse contagion that we spread unwittingly. It's okay to have feelings, just not let the feelings have us. I get grumpy and fearful, for example, and maybe then I snap at the brother that's making dinner for us. He doesn't know what to do with that when the provincial does that, so he goes out and kicks the dog. It's not a good thing. That's the kind of contagion I'm talking about. Our baptism into Christ is not a flu shot against feelings. Feelings of fear and confusion, that's part of the human condition. It's what we do with our feelings that can change things. This Lent reminds us how to transform that pain. The secret is not to waste the suffering, but allow it to be transformed by the love of Christ. St. Francis himself felt pain. He felt a lot of these feelings, but he learned how to take his own hurt, his own pains, his own slights, even from his own friars, situations where he felt wounded, and he touched his nailed hands to the nailed hands of Christ. Francis practiced this to such a high degree that his own body bore the marks of his friend, Jesus, the crucified one, out of a desire to share that love with his deep friend. To share his sufferings, large or small, with Jesus became the road to transformation. This is not a Lent of our choosing but a Lent that's been given to us. In the old morning offering, we used to say, we offer our prayers, our works, our joys and sufferings of this day to Jesus. We can still say that prayer, this Lent. For Christians, this is an opportunity for transforming our sufferings. This Lenten practice reminds us of our connection with all those other people who are suffering throughout the world. The poor, the dispossessed, the forgotten. In Christ Jesus, we know we are connected by genuine bonds that social distancing cannot break. So, let's check in on our elderly neighbors. Let's practice caution around large groups. And let's wash our hands. Then, only then, put those washed hands into the hands of Christ. No hardship, no disease, no fear can stop us from experiencing the love of Christ. Please remember the concern of the Franciscans for each of you and know that we care.